Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simos 22. Look at these colours, November. So today, we're back on the farm, obviously we're now getting into winter, so there's going to be less to do, but we still have several important jobs. We've got to move all the pallets and stuff, we've got loads of tomato pallets, which we'll do later on, because that's just something we do all the time. Also, we need to give the uh, greenhouses water, and probably the sheep water as well, yep. They have a bit, but it needs topping up. In the previous episode, I cultivated this field here. We need to connect the two together. Very important. Uh, we also have some eggs to sell if the price is right. I also need to do a grass boundary here, which I'll probably do straight away, actually. And, um, yeah. It's not really the growing season for trees, so it's not going to be much change before the summertime. Use machines, we have a forage harvester header, a John Deere front loader, and also a meadow roller, but all of which are not required at this stage. But yeah, still good to see them there. So, first things first, into construction, landscaping, painting, and grass. We do have other options as well, like dry grass, but I think just grass is going to be adequate. So. Let's just change the camera angle. There we go. I probably stood completely in the way. Not too sure if it makes a difference. And this wants to look quite rough. It doesn't want to be perfectly square. So, which we'll bring this round. Actually, it does want to be square at the end because otherwise it look weird. But it doesn't matter if it's rough going further up. Okay, <laughs> it's making a nice straight edge anyway, so we'll just stick with it. Okay, and of course it does cost us a bit of money. So there we go. Everything is going to look a bit different when it has started to grow. Typical. <laughs> uh, right. So I said we're not going to do square. We've done square. Um, it's probably for the best anyway. So that has completely divided this field, which is going to be sugar beet from the forest, which is going to be incredibly dense. We're not even going to be able to see the trees over there when these grow. Uh, and yes, it's not the time of year to do sugar beet, so we're going to have to wait. Sugar beet is done in March, April time. So we have a bit of waiting. So I rented this cultivator in the previous episode on our brand new tractor, and I just wonder if we can somehow reclaim some of the money. I don't want to do a big cultivation job because it would take far too long. We have stuff to do. Um, but if we could just get something done, just a thousand pounds, that would be that'd be pretty nice. For number 14, that must be close to here. Right, I've looked. It's not really worth doing at all. Not at all. It's quite a lot of work for not much money in return. And we'll probably run over the renting, so we'll just return it. Fertilizing on the other hand is worth it. Look at that. Twenty-seven thousand pounds for doing twenty-six. We shall do that. It is huge, but I believe we're capable. So yeah, we'll just go and plough that first of all. Hopefully the contract doesn't disappear. And then we're going to have to buy a load of fertiliser to do it. So we can return it from here. Cheating in a way, but it doesn't matter too much for that. And we will get the... Well, I was actually using the Landini tractor for connecting fields before. It wasn't too fair on it, so we will use this tractor. I haven't used it for a while. But I'm a bit concerned that because we do have two tractors which are very similar, one of them is just going to become redundant and it's just going to be sat around depreciating. So I might have to run a vote as to whether or not we sell one of these two tractors, the, the, the Vartra or the Matty Ferguson, and if we do sell one, which one? But anyway, yeah, as I said, we're going to be connecting the fields just here, even though no crops are going in until next year. I need to keep the track which leads up to the grapevine because I'm not 100% sure of what's happening there yet. Uh, yep, to switch on, allow create field. There we go. And then I can just keep going up to the top until it's all done. But yeah, 27,000 pounds for fertilizing one field. It is gonna cost us several thousand pounds in fertilizer. Maybe uh, we might be able to get away with doing it with £3,000 worth. Maybe four. 
But despite this, for 15 minutes work, that is very good pay. Actually, maybe I can just accept it now. We don't have to do it straight away. And we don't need to borrow the items because we already have stuff, even though it's not very big. And now we're here. We'll put a nice neat end on, otherwise we're going to make a mess. Try and keep this fairly level, if I can do. Yep, that's good enough. Okay then, right. I will just plough this section, we'll join them together, and I will see you in a minute. Now in case you're wondering why I'm going to do sugar beet, despite the very high cost of renting a harvester, it's because sugar beet is actually a really good crop. The amount of crop you get off each acre is considerable, in fact I think it's one of the best crops you can do, but you do get a lot of it, so it does involve quite a bit of casting, I've got a lot of sugar beets to take to a sell point. So fairly labour intensive but it will be worth it and it's a different crop something which I haven't done yet in 22 so I look forward to that speaking of crops we have the barley field over there and that could do with some fertiliser so when we have the spreader out we'll do our own field as well anyway there we go we're done I have now joined the fields together it's going to be one big crop of sugar beet I'll go and put this back in the shed and then we need to use this tractor on the fertilizer spreader. We're going to have to go over to the store to fill it up completely to the top with fertilizer. Uh, as you can see it's currently blocked in by the cultivator so I need to move that. I would use the new tractor, but it's not really going to be set up for this. This tractor has the row crop tyres, which it currently has on, even though they still look quite wide. Yeah, my new tractor is more for cultivation work and running the new planter, that sort of thing. Oops, sorry Landini, just smashed in the bonnet. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay then, so let's get this put onto the back. We do already have something in it. Probably about a third full. Oh, it's almost two thirds full. Nice. Well, in that case, what I do is I fertilise my field first, and then we'll go to the store, fill it up, and then fertilise the other farmer's field. Um, yeah, it is the biggest field on the map. Field number 26, so it's going to be interesting. So I'm set to 42 metres. Let's go. I believe that is working. Should clarify. Very quickly. Yes, that is working. Good. And it's easier now too, because we've got the uh, rectangular shape. We've put the other part as grass, which is going to be easier. Right, okay, so I'm going to buy six. We won't necessarily use it all, which is fine. It's not going to be wasted. Uh, but yeah, we just need to make sure we have enough at the moment. 
I'm not going to be taking a trailer over there, so we we'll just have to come back if we need to fill up. But I'm hoping a full one is going to do it. There we go, that's 3,200 litres. It's a lot of fertiliser. So, yeah, Venom 26, <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow, this is going to be huge. Just to give you an idea of scale, that's 26, and there is our big field. 40 and 41. So, pretty large. And I noticed that it's the second application. So I really hope the crop isn't too tall, whatever crop it is. It's going to make it very hard to see. 26 is a canola crop. Well, with it being canola, it should have only been drilled about two months ago, so it shouldn't be that established. There it is, on the left-hand side. The biggest field on the map, costing over a million pounds. Wow, if only we could own this. Although I don't think I'd want to own it, I'd much prefer to work in the smaller fields. Right, okay, so there we go, we have begun. Make our way across. Uh, obviously the trees over there, the orange trees are the boundary. So we've got to make our way all the way over there. And yeah, I really don't know what the consumption is going to be like, but Again, I always forget this. There is a, a leeway. We don't actually have to fertilize it 100%. But I will still do uh, my best. But I will save that last bit of fertilizer, which it lets us off on, because otherwise it's just going to be very expensive. And we'll be paying unnecessarily. So, yep. Let's get it done. And then we can collect a really substantial amount of money. I would be very interested in seeing how much I've actually missed. I'll take a look. Uh, but this has only taken so far 10 minutes, which I think is quite impressive. Right, is this going to look really bad? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the issue with not having GPS. I could have put it on a worker, which obviously would have cost money. That was horrendous. Actually, this first piece wasn't too bad at all. It's hard to judge where you have and haven't been, though. Which, I guess, is why you'd want to have tram lines. It does make it easier. But anyway, the end must be getting close. 89%. So I don't think I'm going to have to go back to those pieces that I missed. By the time we get back down here, hopefully, the contract will complete. Yeah, it's looking all right. If I was just to return to that and do that piece there, the majority would be covered. But if we had GPS, we could just cover everything precisely. Or if we had precision farming, I don't know when the precision farming DLC is coming out, but uh, if we had it, we'd see it on the minimap. You'd be able to see where we have and haven't been. So there we go, contract finished. 27,456, and we didn't even have to fill up the spreader, although we are on 4%. So that was just amazing. That was so worthwhile. I'm going to head back to the store and we will fill it up. Right, okay, so we're filling it up. We should be able to clear all but two of these bags, I think. There we go. Just one left. So we'll keep it here. It'll probably be put in a drill. And I can park this in the shed. No more fertilising until the spring. So, yeah, all my pallets for the greenhouses need to be moved. Well, they need to be loaded up. Water is actually not as bad as I thought. Let's just 
just see here. Deactivate raisins and grape juice. Do we have any other problems? Yes, we have run out of space for the tomatoes. I should have been moving them. I really should. But I will move the tomatoes off screen as there are a great deal to move. And if I was to time lapse it, the video would just be horrendous. It would be like, whoa. And then no one would see anything. But yeah, we do need to fill up the tanker. Now we have a bigger tractor. We use the dolly. And we'll be able to do it that way. Now how we set up here, we need to be on the left curtain. At the front. Yep. So, yeah, I'll just get this done. I'll just get all these tomatoes put into here. It's going to be an impressive sight, since it is a full greenhouse load. Um, so we're, I think we'll come to about here, from the front. Let's see. Okay, right, sometime later, and I have been stacking all of these by hand. I hope you like the look of it, because I have had a couple of people who said they didn't like my stacking. Uh, that should fix that problem. Does it get any neater? And yeah, we can get three side by side, three stacks. Anyway, the way I've been doing this, I've just been basically clearing a load, putting them in the back of the trailer, and then I go and stack that load, and then come back for another lot. But I think we must be fairly close to um, empty. Oh, look. Only two spawned. Which makes me think that is actually the end. We shall see. But we do have a great deal in here. More pallets than it looks. It just goes to show how many pallets you can actually fit on a lorry. And yeah, I've been using the uh, bed of the trailer to make them flat. Pretty easy. So I'll continue. I'll stack all the rest of these. And then we will uh, say the tomatoes are done. <laughs> then we just have the lettuce. But luckily, I've been selling the lettuce quite a bit. So I think there's only about, well, probably just those pallets there. I don't think there's going to be many more to spawn. Right. We can have one more layer. To start to get a bit tricky. And then we can head off to over there. <laughs> I doubt the tomatoes were a good price. Okay, there we go. So that is the next stack done. Put the strap over. I... I think it's only going to be a matter of time before somebody creates an auto-stacking trailer. Turn this lorry into an auto-stacker, leave it here next to the greenhouse, and it'll be full in no time. Imagine that. Not very labour-intensive. Now, yeah, you can pick up these pallets by hand, I know, but I'd like to use the fortlift for something. So I'll just get this done. Uh, can it stay over there? Probably can, actually. Just got a couple more tomato pallets to move. And these are going to be done three high. I do just need to check and make sure these will actually fit uh, three across because I know when I tried before I couldn't get it to work. The tomatoes do. It's probably just because it's been loaded badly, <laughs> I would say. Uh, yes. Let's just see what we can do. Squeeze them up. Up close. Yeah, they're in. That's good. Okay, so I can now make them neat. A few final adjustments. And then that's all the lettuce done. There we go. Put some straps over. Yep, so we've got our lettuce. And we've got our tomatoes. We shall let much more grow. Because uh, that really is not going to be economical. 
taking a trailer like that, although I was probably taking less than that before because I was so bad at stacking it. It's now better. So, yes, what shall we do? Uh, I need to... Um, I'm not desperate for water, actually. But I'm quite tempted to see how well the tractor can perform with the tanker. So, I'll try and empty it. Unless, of course, it's already empty. And then we will uh, we'll try and see how well this tractor can pull it out of the lake. But I need my dolly. Uh, the dolly is already attached. Good. Really, we shouldn't have any problems. This is quite a big tractor. But it does seem like a very heavy tanker. Well, it would be. It's, what is it, 31,000 litres of water. So the first stop is the sheep. Top up their water trough. Okay, might not have got close enough annoyingly. Oh, there we go. And now we do this greenhouse. I'll shut the door as well, letting all the heat out. Hmm, probably can't squeeze in with it there. There we go. Okay, right, that's done. Yep. And now for the big one, which will take quite a bit, but it is, I think it's about half full, so it won't be a, a huge amount. And that lorry really needs to have a parking place. <laughs> it's a bit in the way. Okay, we'll see how much it takes. But the greenhouses are certainly worth doing. But I would say, if you're going to do them, it's worth spending the extra time just loading them up by hand, the pallets, and taking them over to the cell point. Right, so we do have 45%, but let's just go and get 100%. It's going to be a bit of a test. But certainly, looking at the acceleration, we may have issues. I found the shallowest bank is just over here, so we can unload it here. And then try and get out of there. Need a, a small run-up. There we go, we're full. So how is it going to perform? The voucher could do it, but it did struggle. Sometimes you had to back up and do it again. Wow, <laughs> straight away. I had my doubts, but I didn't need to. I am so pleased I bought this tractor. I might have mentioned that before. Back at the farm and we'll park it back in its normal place. Everything is full. We don't need any more water. Good. Uh, so yeah, I need to check the price for corn. That is something which is coming up soon, either today or tomorrow. It's getting better. In fact, yeah, that is not bad at all. 1800. It is supposedly getting even better. This would be a good test. Uh, let's see now. It's um, 1817. Let's see what it's going to be tomorrow. I'm intrigued to find out. Uh, so there's nothing else to do today. I don't think it's all, all done. Although. Another hay bale over here wouldn't go amiss. The sheep are eating it. I will be making some more hay bales next spring. Just to keep this supply up. But we do have four left after this one. Which is not bad. And I know we shouldn't be using the forklift really. But until we get the telehandler, this is what I'm using. I still need to tell the front loader actually for the Matthew Ferguson. Because uh, that is not really needed. I could use it for this, but then I could just use the forelift. And yeah, it's going to be replaced with the JCB telehandler. So there we go, sheep. Enjoy. It's good for another year, possibly. this over here. I would love to be able to fill up that trailer with fruit uh, before we have to take it. I, I would love to be able to actually get a full tray load of lettuce and tomatoes. Not sure if it's going to happen. We do tend to get desperate for money, but the potential is there. I only say fruit because of 
farming smoothie. They always call it the fruit type. Uh, but yeah, I believe lettuce is a vegetable, actually. I think. That will need clarifying. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, let's move on. So we've reached that time again where we have to keep passing through the months, as there's not much to do. I know we do need to do a tidy up. Next episode, we're going to do a mass tidy up of the yard, hopefully. Although, it's not that messy. It's probably the neatest yard I've ever had. So, any used machines? Wow, there is quite a bit here. Look at that. Sadly, we can't afford it, and it's too big for our farm anyway. Uh, that's not a bad buy, but that requires 300 horsepower. So really, despite all these very nice looking machines, there is nothing for us. Sadly. Uh, is it going to snow? I think it might snow. Looking at the weather. February. February is when the snow is. So yes, we were looking at the prices of corn. Oh. Why didn't I sell it? That is awful. And the price fluctuations make no sense then, because it, it was November when it should have been at its lowest. December should be increasing quite a bit. And yet, it's dreadful. So, there we go. Uh, it, will, it will rise again. We don't need to worry too much. Uh, but I should, have, I should have sold the corn. Anyway, next time I think we're going to be moving on to, uh, to January. I don't think we need to do anything in December. Contracts are going to be few and far between. Yep. How? Oh, it must be the last corn harvest. Anyway, yes. Like I said, few and far between. We'll soon be able to prune the vines. And uh, as soon as we get to April, we can start putting in sugar beets. I look forward to it. And next time we'll also sell the eggs. Because, yes, there is quite a bit there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.